Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is, what it's gonna do, change him. The scripture comes from Amos 8, 4 through 6. Hear this, you who trample the needy and do away with the poor of the land, saying, when will the new moon be over that we may, that we may sell grain and the Sabbath be ended, that we may market wheat, skimping on the measure, boosting the price and cheating with dishonest scales, buying the poor with silver and the needy for a pair of sandals, selling even the sweeping with the wheat. So I feel like um, this message is for somebody like you may be having problem with um, sales or you may be having problems with a business venture or something like that. And God is saying that this moment, like this phase is happening because it's meant to promote a change. It's meant to... Um, kind of force you it's like god's way of pushing you into changing regardless if it's changing the way that you um do your business or the way that you promote or changing something like i remember i was having such a hard time <laughs> um when i first started selling my lashes when i first started my bit my business but my first idea was to just sell to family and friends around me and then I realized that I needed to promote to other people. And then uh, when I moved to Jamaica, I was trying to still do online. I couldn't do online anymore because I couldn't ship out to anybody. So then I had to change, change it up and start, you know, selling by hand to women in the neighborhood and then um, selling to the different store owners. Like, And basically what God is saying is that you got to switch it up. And once you switch it up, you are going to be able to, um, your profit is going to be back up. However, don't get greedy and start raising your prices. Like, don't be like, just because it's people with money that God sends to you, you charge them more than you would charge somebody else. Keep your prices the same. Because if you do that, God is going to see you as being greedy. Because the scriptures say, um... And the Sabbath day be ended that we may market wheat, skimping on the measure, boosting the price, and cheating with dishonest skills. God says he doesn't want you to do that because, like, right now you are in a period of Sabbath. Like, whatever, you had some kind of change in your life, and God is giving you this period of when you are supposed to be focused on that. And after you come out of that period, then you are going to be able to flourish the way that you want to but once you do that god is saying don't be greedy like you know god is going to boost your sales but don't be greedy and that's something i realized too um in jamaica i had to like i peaked that the prices that i would usually charge i couldn't charge it there not only because you know just out of the kindness of my, of my heart and just off of the fact that i saw that it was a different kind of um how do you say it? it was basically a different different group of people that i was selling to and you know um you have to look at those things but god is also saying don't be unfair like if you're gonna charge that price like that's that gotta be the price period you can't um see somebody and you see they have money so instead of like me like um instead of charging what i would normally charge i up the price to like 50 dollars for a pair of lead. like that's ridiculous and that's what god is saying like and then not on not only will it look bad in the eyes of god but a lot of times people they will notice that and they will feel some kind of way about you overcharging them especially if somebody else sent them to you and they know that you charge less they'll feel cheated and that could hurt your business. But, yeah, that's the message, okay? God said you're going through a Sabbath right now. It's something that happened in your life. And you have to wait. Just like it say, when will the new moon be over that we may sell grain and the Sabbath be ended? You are going through a holy period of your life. And that's why God kind of slowed everything down. But once that period ends, then it'll pick back up. Okay, that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.